What is up guys, welcome back to Gravedigger, and it is me, Bionic Rx, and I'll be showing off the amazing Jaeger class added to the game just a couple days ago. There you go, uh, whatever. But the main part of this class is that it is a trickster class, it has a bunch of insane stuff. Firstly, it has the pox rounds from Mortician, which means you'll be able to poison enemies, very nice. But it also has the smoke grenade from Soda, which is quite nice. And that is very useful for it. Everything's, everything works well with this class. But the main thing is your hunter kit. Uh, don't worry about the powder. Oh, let's get out of here. Alright, as I was saying, the main thing is your hunter kit. Which is a very useful tool. It's, it's kind of like engineer, whereas you're building. Except you're making traps. You're making traps. Offensive building. So you have a bunch of stuff. Uh, with R is to cycle through all the traps. And with Q is to select your cow trip barbed wire sort of thing. Now let me just demonstrate real quick. Uh, supplies again, same thing you get from the crate. You run out. So let's put a basic thing, tin bomb. And then what you want to do, first place the trap. Uh, most of the traps use a trip wire or need to be activated by trip wire. The ones that don't are the lantern lure, the man trap, and the dynamite stack. So basically, this tin bomb trap is an explosive, it's a bomb, it explodes, it kills, does fat damage in the vicinity, so basically don't stand there when it explodes. So it's going to quickly, and that's a barbed wire, that's a trip wire. Now when, a, when an enemy walks through this, it'll of course activate the bomb, or whatever the wire is attached to. Now I'm not sure about the detection, I haven't tested it, but just don't go near the traps. Also, another thing added in this update is crouching, which you can actually use to bypass the traps. So if you press C to crouch and you're downwards, you will not activate the trap. Of course, this is my own trap, so I can't really show it. But traps can be destroyed in a number of ways. First off, you can shoot them. If I aim right, you know. I'm pretty sure you can melee them. Yes, you, you can melee them. You can also mine them. So mining, melee, and shooting them are all the best ways to get rid of traps. But let's get into more of the detailed traps. You have the first off gas shell, which is basically a gas bomb. I'm not going to place it since it's pretty self-explanatory. Think of it as like your smoke bomb, except it does a bit of damage, I think. But visually, it's basically the same from what I've seen. So it's a gas bomb, essentially. Area denial. Area denial is very good for this class. Next, dynamite stack. This is a good thing. Basically... Think of it as like a bomb, except if you hit it, if you even hit it lightly with anything, it'll explode much like a tin bomb and kill you. And it cannot be trip wired, so it's either hit it or nothing happens. Now, this is very good because if you put it near a trap, enemy tries to hit it or they accidentally hit it, they'll die. If a miner tries, if you're like mining and you hit it, you die. So I'm gonna demonstrate real quick. And as you see, I'm dead. But, there is a quite a nice technique you can do with this. See that I place down my dynamite stack. What I can do is that I can shoot it if my aim is right. And as you can see, I just shoot shot it and it exploded. Uh, that can be used to kill enemies if you're good enough. If, if you have good position, if you have good timing. You can kill enemies with that. Of course, you're going to need like a more accurate gun. I, can, I had to stand this close to it shoot it. But if you have like the Volk, that'll be very, very good. Next thing, Shot Shell Trap. Shot Shell Trap is a very nice trap as well. Think of it as like a riding shotgun, uh, shotgun shell, except you place it down. So basically, this needs a trip wire. So of course, once it, once it, once it's activated, it'll just shoot a shotgun shell, in like, same as a normal shotgun. Now, because you're gonna be walking through it, I do recommend that you do place the trip wire a bit in front of it or in the same direction as the barrel itself so I'm gonna place it like what if I I need better third person camera like there meaning that now when I walk through of course a bit lower or make it sure that it actually hits it then I get my face blown off by this which I can't demonstrate because I'm not on the enemy team and I'm too bored to get my alt but that is the shot shell trap pretty self-explanatory Next thing is the lantern lure. 
This is just a fake lantern, essentially. This is great for paranoia. So, this is a good case where I use it. Basically, if I'm pinned down, I can place down my lantern there, and it'll produce light for me. And, therefore, my enemies will think that I'm still here when I can just run off and go ahead. Which is, first off, great for paranoia, and second, uh, it's a nice decoy, and it can make your enemies waste time and just overall mess up their game. Next, Man Trap. Man Trap is also... It does not activate on Tripwire. You have to step on it, of course. It's my own Man Trap, so I can't activate it. But, basically, it'll slow you down. It'll, like, stop you, stagger you for a bit, and do a bit of damage. So, yeah, that's, that's the Man Trap, basically. And that is actually all of the base things. Now, to actually... Of course... Enemies are gonna see these things. Like you're not just gonna be like, "Oh, I'm not, I'm gonna walk over this." No, that's not what's gonna happen. You're gonna have to hide your stuff well. Okay, I'll just be walking. I'll be running or something, and now I'm dead. That's pretty much it. Can I see this? Oh, if if I, if you have to look straight down, it's still pretty tricky. But if I'm looking like upwards, if I'm looking at an enemy and I'm just running, now I'm dead. So watch out for pits now. Even pits, you can't even trust the holes you fall in now, cause you just, just you're gonna die. Of course, this can work for any bomb. Uh, shot shell trap needs a bit of better positioning for this, cause of course you have to get the shotgun shell. But hopefully you can get like a good angle like this or something or like horizontal, so you can blast them. But this is the main way you want to put your traps on falling stuff, so that your enemy cannot see it and they'll just fall down. So best to put them on drops because drops are the best thing they can't control themselves while they're falling so that's really good I also I forgot to say but this class has a special thing where if an enemy is digging nearby it'll like ping it to you so you'll be able to track enemies as well which is very nice very 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 nice there is a good place to put your traps in this part of the game but it last stand this this is very good in last stand so you can pretty much put a tin bomb like from here to here and now melees cannot come and get you if you're in the corner that's very good same thing similarly get a shot shell trap place it like this like that and now they can't walk through this you have like a little safe zone where you can sit in which is good if they don't have a gun oh my god guys I completely forgot I forgot we had smoke grenades so even if you have bad positioning, if even if your enemy can clearly see the trap, like let's do this, smoke grenade out. Let's just chill this out for now. So now it's properly gassed, and now you're dead. So smoke bomb synergizes insanely well with the traps because you can't see anything in this. So smoke bomb plus trap is insane so if you see an enemy push incoming or like you know you you know someone's coming by and your trap is you're not confident in your trapping skills or you just want like you just want to like double down on them get insane just make it really hard for them throw down your smoke bomb smoke up the trap and then they they'll die they can't see it and it's great happy for you it's very very good because smoke bomb hides your traps hides you it's very good. This this class is really well made for what I think. It's a very fun class if you use it well. Of course, it might it is weak in some areas, which is not many. I'll think about it. But as is, as for now, my opinion on this class is probably oh, it's got my name on it. But it's definitely one of my favorite classes in the game. Definitely, probably like number one or two. I'd say Lancer definitely. It's either Lancer or this one. Or Rook. Okay, never mind. All the classes are good, whatever. But thank you for watching. If you want, like, subscribe. Because I will probably... I'll make a video on this game every time it's an update or something. I'm not much for gameplay. Actually, I will put some gameplay, like some highlights probably. But anyways, like and subscribe if you like this video. This nodding is very funny. Thank you. Have a great day. Goodbye.